Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Danielish. So today I just decided because I was at home doing nothing that I was going to do another makeup tutorial. We're on a roll here, yay! If you've never been here before, it's nice to meet you. My name is Danielle Price and today I did a makeup tutorial. It's the second one I've come out with in a, in a few days. The trains are going, you know? I'm getting all these out. Anyways, this video that you're about to watch, I'm trying this thing that people are doing that sounds crazy to me. So normally you would put on all your moisturizers and then you'd put on your primer and then you'd do your foundation and then you would set your foundation with a powder and finish the rest of your routine. Well, there's this thing going around where you're actually supposed to do your moisturizer and then you're supposed to do your primer and then you're supposed to set your moisturizer and primer with powder and then put setting spray on it and then put your foundation on top and uh, well I did this look doing that and if you guys stay till the very end then you will know exactly what I think about this process and if it's something that I think I'm gonna keep doing after this video but yeah we'll see so if you'd like to see how this look turns out, and then just keep on watching. I'm going to start with my moisturizer using my hyaluronic acid serum called The Ordinary. As you guys can probably see, I have like some itchy like flare-ups happening. Um, I don't really know why my skin does that sometimes. I'm also going to use my Say You Do Gel Cream Moisturizer. I'll link all the products in the description box. It looks like I'm allergic to something right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on with me. <sighs> Anyways, I use my moisturizers, so then I'm going to use my primer. Um, it's the Becca First Light Primer. After this, I guess we're supposed to do powder which i don't understand how that makes any sense whatsoever but guess who's gonna do it anyways then i'm gonna take my airspun loose face powder kind of powder my oily spots and then you do setting spray this is my elf makeup mist and set spray and then now we put on foundation so I'm going to use my Maybelline Dewy Smooth Fit Me Foundation and a sponge. I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand. I can't really tell like what my foundation's doing, doing my makeup this way. Like, I can't tell the difference yet. I mean, I will say the one thing is my skin looks kind of more dewy. Concealer is my Morphe concealer. I had really good feedback from my last video. I felt like a lot of people seem to like that video. For those of you watching this one, is it because it was a makeup tutorial? And you guys like watching me do makeup? Just kind of want to know what you're thinking. Trying to get a feel of what you guys are looking for from me. I do think that my skin looks a lot more healthy this way. Maybe. I don't know. So then I guess I need to powder again. And I'm just going to do that like a little bit. Because I do actually like the way that my face looks right now. So next I'm going to do my bronzer, just going to use my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Use my Tarte Goddess Glow Highlighter, it's really pretty wet in my face. Oh. I just sprayed that way too close to me. My face is so <laughs> soaking wet. It came out way harder than I thought. I guess I'm just gonna let my cheeks dry for a second. So I don't know how many of you guys are working from home from all of this. 
How many of you guys are out of work? Something I'm low-key worried about is getting furloughed because you never know. A lot of people have. How many of you guys are considered essential through all this? I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna lightly highlight my face. I can't, I feel like I'm taking off my foundation for some reason. I'm gonna use my really intense highlighter because for some reason I'm just not feeling the way that that one looked. Oh snap. Uh, much better. Okay, so I guess what do eyebrows? I'm just gonna like kind of feather them in. I'm gonna use my Precisely My Brow by Benefit. Wow, these look really good actually. I think I'm just going to do... Do I do like a look? I don't know. Today I think I'm just going to use my Pure Soiree Diaries tablet, palette, tablet. But it just like has some neutrals and I'm just going to take a, one of my my E28 Morphe brush and I'm gonna just go in with a medium brown color like but I'm gonna go pretty heavy. I always like to blow out my eyeshadows like I don't want them to be in a precise spot. I don't know I just like don't feel like there are any rules with makeup and I think that's why I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and get this a little bit darker and I'm gonna use like a burnt burnt orange color almost. Oh yeah. People will do their whole upper lid and then do their lower, like under the eye or whatever. But I just want it all to be blown out. I always do my under eye like with everything else. See, look at that. Like that's so pretty. You can just blend it all. I think I'm gonna go in with like a dark brown. in just a little bit because I'm gonna do like a little itty bitty wing like super tiny Let's see I say that now but it's always massive I'm gonna use my elf liquid liner so now I'm gonna do my lashes my I love extreme crazy volume mascara by essence this is kind of a holy grail Holy Grail. Ah, Holy Grail mascara for me. This brand is at least. I'm gonna try to get my la my own lashes as big and dramatic as I can. I'm gonna get them to look like falsies. I'm gonna do my under eye. And then I'm going to go back over my upper lashes now that they've kind of dried a little bit. Wow, this is amazing. I'm freaking blown away. Wow. For my lips today, I'm going to go in with e.l.f. It's their, I don't know what this is. It's like one of their lip crowns in natural. And I'm just going to get this on here a little bit. I love this stuff. And I'm actually gonna go in with blush, so I never ever wear blush ever. I think it's because I have naturally red undertones in my skin already, and then you add blush, and it's like the the red just comes back. But I'm actually gonna use my NYX Sweet Cheeks blush palette. Um, there's a lot of cute ones in here, and I'm just gonna use an old BH Cosmetics brush that I've had forever. I kind of like this. I think it's cute. Um, I might add some freckles actually. Freck is like one of the coolest products ever. It's super dirty because I used to use it all the time. Um, but basically, it's like the best way to create freckles. So it looks like this. It's kind of like almost like an eyeliner brush. You basically just dip it in there and you just kind of like 
like put freckles on your face and then you take your finger and you like blot them around. This is pretty cool. That's all I'm gonna do for now. It's not that I don't have freckles, I have freckles here, you know. I'm just making myself have it all tied together. Okay, so this is my finished look. I'm actually really liking how this looks, how this came out. How do I feel about the method of putting powder on before my foundation? It, it's weird. It made my skin feel weird at first. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, you know, now I... It's not that bad. I'm gonna have to keep trying it and see if I like it, but I think the dewiness, I think I have a good dewiness today. Um, I don't know if that's the reason, but I will keep doing this in my routine and just see if I feel like it makes a difference. Who knows? But if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, just let me know in the comment section below. Um, I will link all the products that I used in the description box below. And yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by.